Very good. Our next speaker is poster number seven, laparoscopic vertical gastric plication as an alternative to sleeve gastrectomy, comparison of postoperative complications and short-term outcome, a case-controlled study, being reported by Dr. Ellie Chuliard. She is not here? She's not. All righty, we'll move on. Thank you very much. Poster number eight. Clinical outcomes after laparoscopic adjustable gastric band vary according to health insurance carrier, self-pay versus private insurance versus Medicaid versus Medicare in 58,317 bold database patients being presented by Aviva Wallace. Thank you. My name is Aviva Wallace, and I have no disclosures. Post-op weight loss and resolution of obesity comorbidities after laparoscopic gastric band are thoroughly understood. Likewise, previous reports have identified significant differences in weight and weight-related medical problems among morbidly obese subscribers to Medicaid, Medicare, private insurance, and self-pay. However, it is unknown whether or not outcomes after bariatric surgery vary with health insurance carrier. Knowing differential responses to bariatric operations according to health insurance status may aid in optimizing bariatric surgical outcomes. The objective of this study was to identify health insurance related variations in weight loss and resolution of obesity related comorbidities following laparoscopic gastric band. A retrospective analysis was performed on over 58,000 gastric band, laparoscopic gastric band patients in the Surgical Review Corporation's bold database. Patients were divided among four insurance groups, weight, weight loss, BMI, and obesity comorbidities were tabulated at six post-operative intervals for each group. Statistical analysis was performed <coughs> using general linear models and pairwise comparisons were made. Among self-pay patients, weight loss, BMI, obstructive sleep apnea, and cholelithiasis sorry, resolution of these, were superior to those observed by patients with private insurance, Medicaid, and Medicare. Conversely, among Medicare patients, weight loss was significantly less, BMI was greater, and resolution of the same obesity comorbidities plus a host of others were significantly reduced compared to other insurance types. Post-op BMI remained highest among Medicaid patients, and resolution of many of the obesity comorbidities among these patients was intermediate between private and Medicare patients. Outcomes with private insurance were less dramatic than self-pay but generally superior to those among Medicare and Medicaid patients. Responses to laparoscopic gastric band vary by insurance carrier. Self-pay patients experienced the greatest weight loss and resolution of obesity-related comorbidities, followed by patients with private insurance and Medicaid, while Medicare patients benefited the least. Poor Medicare outcomes following laparoscopic gastric band surgeries suggest the effects of entrenched medical problems and increased years of morbid obesity. The superior results experienced by self-pay patients may reflect an increase in self-motivation as well as greater access to weight loss resources in this group. The advanced knowledge of health insurance-related variations may facilitate surgical decision making and optimize management. Thank you. 
we have one question from the audience and I have a question also. Um, my question to you is you're looking at BMI at 18 months and the difference is 34 and 36 and I would argue that they would still qualify for bariatric surgery. And so how, and this is at their 18 month follow up, so what are your thoughts about that? Right, meaning that, meaning that the they, resolution, correct. we haven't seen a resolution that would Right, and I guess, I guess my question is, do you think the, the clinical significance between a BMI of 34 or 36 after somebody has a weight loss procedure, is that relevant? Yeah. Right, I think um, one of the ways in which it's relevant is that when describing these procedures <coughs> to patients, this data can be used to say to somebody, okay, people, you know, with your insurance or people, you know, of your group may not experience the same weight loss or reduction in BMI as other people. Here's what you can expect. Okay. Um, and the question from the audience was, what was the follow-up rate at the different time points? What was the follow-up rate at the different time points? Yes. So the... Did the you have a hundred percent follow-up, or were there? Right, we did not. We did not, and you know, it's it's such a large, it's such a large um, population that I don't have the specifics. But no, the follow-up rate definitely decreased with time, and follow-up in Medicaid and Medicare groups decreased greater than did self-pay and private insurance. So that may skew the data a little bit, unfortunately. Thank you so Thank much. You very Thank much. you.